I think that the, the biggest challenge that the defense has in this case is getting a fair trial, to be honest. This case has gotten so much publicity. When they were doing their jury selection here recently, a couple weeks ago, almost every single juror had heard about this case, knew something about this case. Many of the jurors had already come to a decision or a conclusion that Gerald Goins was guilty. And so I think that is going to be the most difficult aspect for the defense. I think the case is difficult to defend for several reasons. First, because so much of the community understands what's happening. Second, because Gerald Goins was incredibly experienced. You cannot make it a uh, sleight of hand, an accident, something that he mistook or misunderstood. The defense on this case is top notch. These are some of the finest attorneys that we have in Texas, in fact. But I will be interested in watching how they go about defending him. Are they going to shoot for the moon and try to get a not guilty altogether? Or are they going to say, hey, we were partially responsible, but shouldn't be held to this higher standard? This is a tough case for the defense. Uh, you've got this guy who, uh, based on all the facts and circumstances, what the allegations are is that he lied in a search warrant so that he could essentially commit a home invasion and break into these people's home and they ended up dead. That is not going to sit well with a jury.